Hi everyone, and today I'll introduce my power bank, which is a Xiaomi power bank. It is a 10,000 milliamp hour power bank. It's a Xiaomi power bank pro, which was uh, released in 2016. And this supports the USB-C type input and it supports, uh, supports fast charging. This is a 10,000 milliamp hour power bank. And as you can see, the date of manufacture is September 2016 and this is a 10,000 milliamp hour and uh, this is uh, a power bank which I rarely use because I use it only during my travel and during my day-to-day -day life I uh, rarely use it and the problem is uh, recently I detected one some sort of anomaly which is a uh, some sort of deformation in the case and it is very hard to detect because of this rubber case that I have put on. So, but if you see uh, closely, you can see that the uh, the aluminum casing, the metal casing, is clearly deformed because of the uh, lithium polymer cell inside, and it seems the lithium cell has uh, bulged up and it, and it's quite dangerous. So I stopped using this as soon as I saw this. Um, which is but uh, the problem is I it is still fully charged and so today in, in this video I will try to remove the lithium cell from this uh, case but I am guessing that this will be a very hard task because the cell inside is deformed and it will be hard to pull out from the case so let's take out the uh, rubber cover first The cell inside from here as to we need to remove some two hidden screws here and then we need to push out the cell entire cell outside from this side and since the cell is bulged up and this part of the case as we can see it's bulged up and here there is the there is a circuit board uh, which is not uh, affected by the, this deformation so we cannot push this cell outside so anyways I'll try and uh, later what I'll do is uh, I may try to discharge it and then charge it and see whether it uh, is having the same capacity of 10,000 milliamp hour or not and another thing is the problem that I may face is I may have some problem with the explosion so I have this explosion container so I'll put this here and then in this container and then I'll try to charge and discharge it so in order to remove this I need to remove this uh, upper cover and then there are the two hidden screws that I need to remove okay before that I'll try to test and show if this is still working and this is the USB tester and this is the load that I can connect the tester as you can see and I can turn on the 2 amp load and it's drawing 10 watts and then you can measure the milliamp hour output so what I'll do is I'll first charge it charge it up up to the fully charged state in the container in the explosion container and then I'll measure the discharge capacity using this device and I'll try to recharge it again and measure the uh, capacity of the cell uh, during the process it may explode so I have to take precautions because this is not a normal cell so I'll try to remove the this panel first And as you can see, there are two screws here. One screw here and one screw there. So let's try to remove it.
and then we should be able to remove this back panel and this exposes the cell here and uh, we are supposed to push this uh, entire frame outside of the cell casing so let's try to do that I think it's a very hard process right now because of the deformed cell so I think it's really hard now uh, and it is not possible to remove this uh, cell without destroying it so what we can do now is uh, let's uh, uh, try to charge it up and then discharge it and measure the cell capacity so this is my test setup and first I will recharge the cell to the fully charged state like so so now the cell is charging and since we don't know the state of the charge right now so I'll fully charge it and then first discharge it uh, using the monitor and the load and then I'll measure the capacity of the cell once the capacity of the uh, discharge state of the cell is ascertained then we will recharge it using the monitor and then see how much charge goes inside and in the meantime I'll be using this explosion container so if there is any explosion then it should be able to contain in this container now we have successfully discharged the power bank and uh, now we can test the capacity of our power bank uh, the final capacity uh, discharge capacity of the power bank is uh, 5743 milliamp hour this was measured at a uh, discharge rate of 1 ampere at 5 volts and uh, the rated capacity of the power bank was 7100 milliamp hour at the same discharge rate so now we can conclude that uh, the capacity of the cell is 80% at the specified capacity so even though there is uh, uh, structural deformation and uh, and the usage of around two and a half years later the capacity is uh, still at 80 percent which is quite good the power bank has been fully charged from its fully discharged state it was fast charged at a rate of 2 amps at 9 volts and you can clearly see that the power bank is still intact and it has not exploded during the discharge and the recharging process it is still quite safe to use but i'll not be using it anymore so please suggest uh, some power bank that i can use i can buy for the future i hope to see you next time thank you bye